Yeah, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. This episode is going to be purely based on catch and cook. We have here a nice 38 centimeter jack that our daughter Ruby caught, and we'll upload footage of her catching it. But we're also going to do footage of how we're going to cook this fella up. All right, let's get some uh, bait cut up. So we get a couple of rods out there and see if we can start catching some fish. So I'll do, I'll crack them up into slices. This one's going to stop moving. bait there so we chuck them on the line and we'll get them out there got the mullet put him onto the hook there and we'll get him out there. get him out there see if we get ourselves a jack or something hopefully a jack that's what, that's what we're going for Yawn? Do I need to come into the water? Huh? Come back. So, quick background story on, on, on what just happened. I went to come check Ruby's rod and it wasn't there. It was gone. So I've climbed this tree to see if I can see it in the mangroves. I've seen it up, uh, like under the water here. Ruby's rod's been taken by a fish. I found it in the water. Jeez, how's that for checking it though? Ruby? Ruby! Ruby, come here quickly. Quick, Rubes. Come, Rubes. You're gonna wanna wind this one in. Ruby. Ruby, come get it and wind it quickly. Wind. Wind it. Hold up here. Wind him in. Ooh. Wind him in, Ruby. Oh my god. Wind him in, Ruby. No way. Ruby. No way. Look out. Oh. Ruby. Oh my god, Ruby. Ah. Oh my god. Yes, Ruby. Look, you know what it is? <laughs> That's a mangrove it's jack. It's a mangrove jack like mummy. <laughs> Oh my god, what a fish! This is on Ruby's rod, alright. That rod was lost. Oh my god. Look at that, what a beautiful fish. Oh my god, Ruby! No, we're not, we're gonna but check this it first. One, this one's Ruby's, Ruby's jack. This is the first jack of a... This is Ruby's jack. Ruby, you caught a mangrove jack, babe. You caught a mangrove yeah. jack, mate. Can I have a photo with him? Absolutely. You can. Come oh babe. my god. That's awesome. I know. What is, oh, we got the. Did you bring the. How is. So, first of all, what we're going to do is. We're going to gut him. Now, he has been bled. When we caught him. Right now, we're going to gut him, scale him, and get him prepped to cook him whole. So if you don't have a scaler, spoon is the way to go. Hold him by the tail, get the spoon, and then away you go. Easy as. That looks right. Yeah, getting all the scales off him.
Right, there you have them, all scaled. Just gotta get them a quick wash down. All gutted. Ready to get um, prepared to cook up. So what we're gonna do now is get some paper towel and pat them down. So I guess all the actual little scales off. Cause what you don't wanna do is, is hose them down. Beautiful, all right, time for the next step. All right, so what I do is cut three slits in both sides. Down to the spine as well. Down to the spine, so you want nice and deep. Keep that cut. Flip them over, go again, down to the spine. You can cut the fins off, but sometimes people keep them on for trim, like this because it looks nice. Yeah. More for shell. For sure. I mean, he's a pretty looking fish, so you'd want to keep him nice and pretty. That was a bad hack right then, but there we go, there we go. Now we get the gist. Good job. There you go. Yeah, right. I feel like I'm having like performance issues, because like, you're like, you know when someone watches you and you just... Did you just speak? All right, so what we've got here is um, butter and some garlic. And Keelis is gonna make the paste up to put onto the fish. Hey Keelis. That's exactly it. Because I'm gonna make it just like so it's a little bit soft. I still want it to be like thick so it melts over. But I just want it to be a little bit soft before I try to like attempt to smear it. It's a little bit too hard. So you wanna get a, like a cup um, and some butter. Preferably softened, but we have melted ours. Um, so if it's at room temp, it's better. Just add some fresh garlic, which is better. Um, into the paste, like into your butter paste. I always like squeeze that leftover bit of lemon into the paste, like into like the sauce as well, like that you're making, because you want to coat the fish. So when you, while you're making that, as well as using fresh garlic, I always recommend using a little bit of garlic powder for the top of the fish, which makes the skin taste a bit nicer. But what you want to do with the lemon is that you'll just literally cut it in half, and you want to stuff it if I can get it in. Stuff it in the actual holes of the fish and even squeeze it while you're stuffing it. Oh, she's, she's bony. But yeah, what you wanna do is always stuff it, like stuff it in there and then, what I, like I said, the you'd get your mixture that you've made. And like I said, if it's soft, like just softened, normally you would rub it in, but we missed the memo and microwaved it for too long. So just leave your butter out before you start preparing it and pour her over the top. And then, like I said, don't be afraid to you know, use your hands and having like enough of that garlic and that butter all over it because you kind of want it to cook inside, like make it kind of like, say like use like as a heating agent. Now on top of using the butter, give me one minute, I want to use something like um, olive oil because you still need oil so it like gets nice and hot. <laughs> Kids are just playing the floor is lava. Do one minute while I open this and we'll get back to it. So with the olive oil, the reason you want to use olive oil is because it doesn't hit such a high heat. You don't want something to get too hot because then that's gonna, it can, you know, you're having really high temperature based oils can make it almost for work. Like overcook your fish, yeah, nine times out of ten. So as well as the butter, you always want to use that tiny little bit extra of like oil. <laughs> Just as well, you're using it as like a lubricant. Normally I would put it in the pan, but look, I completely forgot um, because I'm, I've am i been in the sun all day, so I'm tired. But yeah, just a little bit of oil. You want your garlic butter. And now i got heaps of lemon left over. So I would honestly recommend, I'll get Dink to grab the camera and show me uh, and help, but even putting, um, as you got the center of the fish. That's what I did. What's that? I put the butter inside it last time. Uh, yeah. There you go. I couldn't remember what else I did, but I did put butter inside the stomach of where you've gutted the fish. But um, let's put lemon in there. Um, and always save a little bit of lemon at the, for the end, so when you can squeeze it on top, sorry, I'm just sitting it in there. So again, all we do is make a butter mixture with fresh garlic, um, if you can't get your hands on fresh garlic, that's fine. Um, you then 
make your slits, add your lemon, put your butter mixture over the top and inside of the fish, um, and then a little bit of olive oil, one to keep the pan a bit lubricated so it doesn't get stuck, and two, because um, it's not high heat, but it will still help the fish cook evenly. But um, yeah, and don't forget a little bit of garlic powder on top of the skin makes it taste a little bit better. Um, now I can't open the garlic powder. This is embarrassing. It's the worst fish you fish. What are you open the wrong side? Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now, also, should I mention, we have preheated our oven. I don't know what temperature it's on because it doesn't have any numbers on it because it's old. So roughly 180. About 180. Now, I would say we'd throw that back in the fridge, but I reckon we're going to throw it back in the oven now. Yep. Get cooking. I think it's at, rough, at a high temperature and yeah, we'll, you know, go back from, we'll, oh my god, where's my bread? <laughs> Probably this, we'll cook it up and then this here will be for all of us to kind of pick out and eat away. Not really dinner, just a bit of a snack and if we're hungry later obviously we'll cook up something else but Last time we had we're going to... Was... Last time we had a joke it was just me and Keely that ate it, the kids weren't keen but this time the kids are keen so we're gonna eat it as a family and then we're gonna pick at it and enjoy this tasty fish that Ruby has been so kind to catch for us. Don't forget a little bit of salt. Salt bait? Uh, oh, this is MS. This is this is can't, it. This is can't the, do a uh, yeah, open your hand then. Oh, wait, have you washed your hands? Yes, yeah. I washed my hands. Hey, he's a mechanic and a fisherman, right? Do they wash their hands properly? No. Yeah, this is a salt bay. This is salt dinky. <laughs> salty. <laughs> salty dink. Did you get it on the fish or did you just? That was horrible. I got it on the fish, but. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I. Oh, but no, this is this. That's MS in a nutshell. Like me showing, like being just transparent. Yeah. That's how that's how my brain works now. But yeah, chuck it in the oven. Yep. I can't quite remember how long for right now. <laughs> no, I think it was. Last one, last one. He has one subscriber, I'm trying to help him, but okay. it's not working. Ah, uh, that's okay. Last time I think it was in there for like 35 I think minutes. we've got an older oven though. So yeah, really older different. oven. I think it was like 40 minutes, but this one is a bit smaller. It's not as fat as the first one. So it might be a half now, but after 20 minutes, we'll pull it out and check it. And then gauge it from there. So we're going to wrap them up and chuck them in the oven. Yeah, there's one butter. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> But also, yeah, you want to wrap them up, make them a little... What are you doing? Wrapping? No! This is why I don't do this. What? <laughs> 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 um, do you reckon... Okay. Um... You good? No. Yeah, wrapping. <laughs> okay. Stop! Now you've ruined it for me. No? This part's gonna get kept in as well. I hope it does. Okay, so you don't want to wrap it up too tight where Dave's just fucking put it away. He's like a sheet. You still want to have his head out a little bit because you don't. You still want to get like the heat to come in and distribute evenly. Correct. Right. Dave's says, look, the kids, look, kids, the fish is having a sleep in that oven. Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? Do I put this part over? Or it's just that. No, nah, it's just that. Right. Huh? Now, preferably, we would probably make our homemade chips. There he is. He's having a little nap. You're sleeping. Cool. Sorry. Preferably we will make chips with it. I don't know if you guys really care about that stuff, but... <laughs> I don't feel like making chips. I feel like eating fish. Right. Never mind. We'll come back when he's cooked. Alright. It's ready to have a quick look. Everything is looking awesome. Now the best way to test it is to put, put your fork in, give it a twist, and if it flakes away, you know, she's all ready to go. And plus that the meat's all white now. But look at that. This jack is ready to eat. Okay. I'll give this a bit of a taste test. Put the skin back. Now remember with your extra lemon that you have from cutting up, because normally we'd recommend half a lemon for each side. You can just drizzle it on top. Need bones? Oh, that's good tasting. Is it good? Oh, that is really good. Is it better than the last one? That's better than the last one, I really? think. Yeah. No. Now, really the babies good. reckon that they, they've, he's got a fish that's a bit big. Mm. They can taste a bit. Yeah, the small ones hold a bit more flavour. Um, but yeah, no, I taste that and you can tell me what you reckon. Thank really you. good. Oh. It's so much better than last time. Yeah. 
Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, cheers for watching. Just, I'll put um, the ingredients in down below. Yep. Keely will do that. <laughs> and we're going to go and enjoy this with the kids. And we will see you guys on the next episode. See you later.